During this video, I'll be showing how to use FM Pro Migrator to perform automated Visual Fox Pro to Servoi conversions. FM Pro Migrator was originally developed only to perform FileMaker database data migration projects. However, over the last eight years, it has been enhanced to convert FileMaker Pro, Microsoft Access, and most recently, Visual Fox Pro applications into Servoi. You can think of FM Pro Migrator as being not just one tool priced at $200 for the basic product, but actually including a family of bundled tools. I'll show each of these tools during my demo. First of all, I'm going to show a sample Visual Fox Pro form, which has a variety of objects on it for testing the conversion process. So here we have a text label with a specific font size and color, rectangle object, image objects, line object. Here is a field with a background color, a combo box. Here is a container object. There are shape objects on the form, as well as a grid object, which will be converted into a FileMaker portal, as well as a page frame object, which will be converted into a Servoi tab panel. The first step in the conversion process is to run the included VFP export utility. So what I do is I select the PGX file for the Fox Pro project, click the export button. The metadata for the project will be exported into the VFP export.dbf file within the same directory as the PGX file. The VFP export utility only extracts the information for the metadata for the objects that are listed in the PGX file. What this means is that you have the opportunity as a Fox Pro developer to create a specialized PGX file just for part of your solution. So I will drag and drop the solution folder onto the step number one button. FM Pro Migrator will read the contents of the vfpexport.dbf file, convert it into a vfpexport.db3 SQLite database file, and then what it will do is it will read the names of the tables and the columns, as well as any persistent relationships which are defined in any of the DBC files that are defined within the PGX file. I would then go to the GUI tab, click on Visual Fox Pro Conversion Service. The migrator has read the vfpexport.db3 file, and it has already determined that there are 95 forms and reports within this project. Click on the import button. It will read the info. It will, it's now copying the VFP code from the various objects. And now it's converting the forms and reports into an internal XML format used by FM Pro Migrator. So that process took about 14 seconds. I then click on for instance, the Layouts tab, and you can see here are the 95 forms that have been imported, as you can see on the Layouts tab. There are values from uh, combo boxes that have been turned into value lists. These will be turned into Servoi value lists in the project. I click on the Scripts tab. You'll see that I have PRG files which have been imported. And then there are scripts embedded within objects on each of the forms. If I go back to the GUI tab, click on the Servoi Migration Service. The migrator knows that there are 95 forms that need to be created. I've already previously created this project, the VFP Solution Project, in Servoi. I've already created a database connection, and I have selected the directory within the workspace where the project resides. I'm going to click on the Migrate button. The scripts are being copied. The layouts are being converted. And that whole process took about 
10 seconds. So within the last approximately 30 seconds, we've basically done the equivalent of about 200 hours worth of work if we were to do it manually. If you figure that it takes approximately two hours to manually recreate each form from Fox Pro and create it in Servoy. Now let's take a look at the Servoy project. Here you can see I have the media objects on the left hand side, the value lists, and the relationships. On the left hand side you see the forms which have been converted. Let's go ahead and run this project within the smart client. And you see that I immediately have data showing up within the smart client. This data is coming directly from the original DBF files for the project. What I did is I simply created a JDBC connection to the original DBF files using the provided JDBC driver from Servoy. This way you can actually web enable an existing Fox Pro desktop application, continue using your original DBF files, and let Servoy use those same DBF files in order to web enable part of your solution. Now if I scroll down, you'll see that I have the converted grid object, which is now a portal in Servoy, and you notice that there are related records that are showing up based upon the relationship which was converted. We have a converted page frame object at the bottom of the form. You can see the objects that we saw in Fox Pro that have been converted over. And we even have an embedded page frame object which has been converted into a tab panel within a tab panel. And you see the enclosed objects which have been converted. I can start up the web client and I basically have the same functionality for the most part in terms of viewing the records, clicking a pull down menu, clicking on page frames. One of the questions which Fox Pro developers have asked about is how can I convert my menus from Fox Pro into Servoy? Menus in Servoy are defined in JavaScript so you can have two different types of menus. You can have an application menu, which will only work within the Servoy Smart Client, or you can have pop-up menus, which work in either the Smart Client or the Web Client. So I'm basically going to take some sample code, turn it into pop-up menu code just by clicking the button here in the Fox Pro Menu Converter, go back to Servoy, Click on the Assets JS tab, because this is a code behind file for this particular form. And I'm going to pick this menu called Card Pad. I'm going to click the Save button. Click on the uh, Assets form. And I'm going to attach the pop-up menu to this particular icon. clicking the card at uh, method and clicking save. If I go back to the smart client, I can click on that icon and I have the menu showing up immediately. I have embedded HTML which offers a change in properties such as underline, bold, italic, and we even have the option to have icons within the menu. If I switch back to the web client, click on that icon, the pop-up menu shows up right away with the same properties you see, the bold, the underline, the italic, and the same image object. Fox Pro developers have also inquired about how to convert their code from Fox Pro into Servoy. Well, let's just take a look at what would happen if we copied a block of code and just pasted it directly from Fox Pro into Servoy. 
Gonna go click on the jo Globals JS tab. Click Save. I've pasted in almost 750 lines of code, and this is code that's straight from Fox Pro. And you see, I've got almost 500 errors. Well, this is to be expected because you would not expect Servoy to be able to execute Fox Pro code. If you look on the right hand side, you'll see that there's a, a red error marker for each error, and there's a, almost an error for virtually every line of the code. If I come back to the Code Converter tool, click the Convert button. The code has been converted and put onto the clipboard. I'll go back to Servoy, copy and paste, and save. And now we're down to two errors. I'm going to click on the red marker here on the right hand side. I'm just going to comment out this particular line. Then I'm going to go back to the bottom of the screen, hit a return, and save. And now we have zero syntax errors in this large block of code. Now this does not mean to say that this code is going to be 100% functional uh, in Servoy. Basically this tool is designed to quickly do a lot of manual changes that you would normally have to type. You'll still have to do some thinking and planning and looking at the instructions which could not be converted. One of the very helpful features of this tool is the stats. So for instance, in this code that we just converted, 94% of the lines of code were converted. 22% of the lines of code were blank lines. So those were just copied over. There wasn't anything that needed to be done. 14% of the lines of code were comments. So the comment character here at the left-hand side of the line was converted into a JavaScript comment character. 12% of the lines of code were determined to be unsupported. And if I scroll down, I have a detailed listing of the number of occurrences of these unsupported keywords. These keywords have been determined to be ones which do not really make sense within the context, context of a server-based development environment. Many of these commands are very Fox Pro specific or maybe even operating system specific. 5% of the lines of code were unprocessed and the list of unprocessed keywords is listed. Now these are lines of code for which a Fox Pro keyword could not be found so therefore maybe they are function calls that might actually be executable. These lines of code were not commented out, they were copied straight over into Servoy and a semicolon was added to the end of the line. So I uh, showed in my demo how to do a static capture of metadata from the Fox Pro project. What I did not show was the runtime metadata capturing process. During the development of this automated Fox Pro conversion process, it has become evident that there are object properties which are either inherited or only set programmatically at runtime. Therefore, this runtime metadata capturing process has been developed in order to solve this particular problem. What you do is you add the VFP export utility, which is a compiled Fox Pro application. You add this utility to your Fox Pro application. You add startup code to your app and build your Fox Pro application and run it. One second after each form is opened on the screen, the properties of each form object are captured into memory. Upon application shutdown, this new information is used to update the existing records within the vfpexport.dbf file.